Welcome to Shantae Day. Today I'm going to give you an overview of the wonderful things that you can do if you come to visit California, where I'm from. Okay, so let's start off with the discount websites you can go to to get good deals on many of the attractions and hotels. Groupon.com is the number one site that I use to find uh, discount tickets to many of the attractions that I'm going to be listing today. CheapTickets.com is a wonderful website where you can book your hotel, your flight, uh, rental car, and a variety of different things all together. Hotels Tonight is an app that you must download on your phone and you can get hotels that same night. Um, really nice hotels at a really good price, 60 to 50% off, 75% off sometimes. All right, on to the attractions that you can see when you come to my state, California. So I'm going to start off with activities for water enthusiasts. Um, I would suggest visiting the, the Long Beach Queen Mary. So the Queen Mary is a ship that was decommissioned long ago, but it was a warship. But it is now just an attraction you can go to and visit. And currently they actually have um, Princess Diana's wardrobe of dresses on display. It's a tour going on, but even when that's over with, it's just a wonderful place to visit. They give you a nice tour and it's also a hotel. So that's a unique place to stay. So that's something uh, you might consider doing. After that, I would suggest maybe renting a boat. You can rent a boat for about $69. That's a Groupon um, discount as well. And it leaves out of Belmont Shore. I think they have some leave that leaves right out of Long Beach as well. But Belmont Shore is right close to Long Beach. You could literally walk. Um, uh, from Long Beach to Belmont Shore but they have boats that you can rent electric boats for up to eight people and you can bring your food drinks whatever and just cruise along the Long Beach Harbor area and just have a lovely time so again a Groupon there is a Groupon for this for $69 I think if you go directly to uh, the pier without a Groupon it's not much more but um, that's a wonderful experience you can take also um, a murder mystery cruise this is a nice um, event for a party or if you just want to have some fun that's, you know, something different. And if let's just say you're celebrating someone or something, you can put their name in um, as a special guest and they will include them inside of the skit or a picture of them. So it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, the next thing is we have hydro bikes that you can rent and it's like a bike on the water and you're just pedaling and it's on the water. It's pretty cool and it's good exercise and it's fun and it's scenic. We have kayaking and paddle boarding. Um, you can also do this leaving out of uh, the Long Beach uh, pier area. So basically what I'm saying is if you go to Long Beach, um, there is a downtown pier area on Ocean. And from there, you can do all these activities that I'm mentioning. You can take a murder mystery tour. You can rent a boat where you can just go out and just have a wonderful time. Now, if you rent a boat, be very careful. Do not throw food out to those pelicans. Those pelicans will attack you and they have their own little island. If you throw some bread out, they will all come and swoop on your boat. And that's what you do not want. My cousin made that mistake and I, we were wrong. We, we were attacked by the birds, but not really attacked, but they just came wanting food. So, um, and those pelicans are huge. Okay, let's move on. Catalina Island is an island that you can access from Long Beach. Um, there are little cruises that leave from Long Beach headed to Catalina Island. It's about a 30 minute ride and Catalina Island is very cute. Uh, there's a little beach there, little restaurants, one theater. It's a very tiny island. I mean, you can walk front from the beginning to the end in about 40 minutes. So that's a nice place to visit as well while you're, you're here in California. Some cultural activities that I would suggest that you um, experience are the following. Visit the Getty Museum. It doesn't require um, a reservation. However, the Getty Villa, which I also suggest that you visit, does require a reservation. There's no fee. You just need to register online and uh, book an appointment time and print that out. And then when you go to the residence, you'll you know see the Getty Villa. And it's right there um, on PCH. So there's a beach right there that you can see on your way into the Getty Villa. So both museum and villa, go see that. The Museum of Tolerance is in like near downtown LA area. And that kind of um, highlights the Holocaust and all those atrocious things that happened 
and um, it's it's a sobering experience, but it, it's something that you, you really should see if you've never been to a Holocaust museum. The Museum of Tolerance is um, a wonderful depiction of, you know, the horrors um, that humankind can inflict on one another, and um, it's good to, to know that history. Uh, while you're in California, another place to visit would be uh, a church. I would suggest West Angeles because it's the largest church in Los Angeles. And not only that, um, the bishop has done wonderful works all over the world uh, to help people. And it's a, it's a place where many people uh, flock to, people who visit uh, California because it's a very famous church. Many movie stars attend there, so it would not be uncommon if you did go to West Angeles, you might see Angela Bassett, her husband, you may see Denzel Washington with a whole list of other people. Um, so it's a wonderful place to visit culturally and spiritually. In addition to that, the Grauman's Chinese Theater is a wonderful place to catch a movie. It was built in 1927 and they've had a variety of premieres there um, in the past years. In addition to that, it is right by the Hollywood Walk of Fame. So you can go there and then go catch a movie. If you're interested in doing some community service while you're here, which I always suggest, you can visit pretty much any city and Google their soup kitchens and find out how you can donate um, or serve. Um, the Skid Row in downtown Los Angeles is a place where you can go and you can help serve soup. You can pass out clothes or goodie bags to the homeless. Be very careful because some people are crazy and some people are sane. So just like any other place, um, you know, you have people that are in need and then you have people that are just trying to take from people that are in need. So that that is a, um, uh, an experience, um, a good experience to give back. Uh, the Costa Mesa Soup Kitchen, you can call in advance and request to serve there as well. Um, physical activities. You can go to Turnbull Canyon and hike there. There are a lot of hiking trails in California, but this is one of them that's very beautiful and scenic. The um, In Manhattan Beach, there is an adventure plex, and this is a place where they have a ropes course, um, all different types of things. I would recommend that. It's good for skill building, for building trust, a variety of things. What else am I looking for you can rent bikes in, in downtown Long Beach they have the family bikes with like four people can fit on like a little cart and ride the bike and view that area it's very beautiful uh, the Griffith Observatory is a place where I would suggest that you visit if you're here it's amazing they have little shows that teach you about the stars and about the planet and its formation and the variety of things horseback riding and winery tours Temecula is another city. It's about an hour and a half outside of Los Angeles where you can drive to and there are wineries all around Temecula. So if you go to one, you can literally drive to all the rest of them. They they have horseback riding out there as well, as well as in, they have horseback riding everywhere in California. But since it's such a beautiful place, it's nice to go horseback riding to kind of see it all. And if you combine that with a winery tour, it's it makes for a really, really nice experience. Uh, we have several boratoriums in California. There's one in Arcadia that's known for its beautiful peacocks that just run wild. So that's a nice location. There's another one in um, Pasadena and there's botanical gardens, a variety of things there that you can see. And of course our beaches. I love the beach. Um, I just like to sit out and soak up the sun. It's just, it's just really cool. But some of the beaches that I would recommend would be Laguna Beach, nice and clean. Um, Venice Beach because you can see all kinds of people perform and all kinds of things there and if you're in San Diego the Coronado Beach is really nice. Some of our amusement parks of course are Knott's Berry Forms, Universal Studios, Magic Mountain and Disneyland. My favorite is Knott's. I'm kind of old-fashioned that way. And if you want something romantic again winery tours, hot air ballooning, Cali style sports. While you're here, go see some games. Go see an Angels game or a Dodgers game or a Galaxy soccer game. Um, you can see the Lakers, the Clippers. It's just so many things that you can do, but kind of get into the spirit of Cali and um, go visit and experience those things. And I am sure you will love California. All right, Shantae Day signing off saying, come to California. We will be glad to see you here. Have a lovely day. Happy travels and a wonderful week to you. Goodbye.